On behalf of Andrea and myself and Chuck and Sherry, we just want to thank everybody for coming out and enjoying this festive occasion. I hope everybody's having a great time so far. When I met Chuck, well, it was about three years ago. Did he talk much? No. Did he eat much? Yes. Could you get him to say more things by giving him a beer? Absolutely. But I listened to everybody talking about what makes these two special, and, I, and I've given it a lot of thought. And it's the one thing that was probably more obvious than any. It's your friends. You two are blessed because not only do your parents love you both, but your friends love you. And you guys do everything together. You are truly the epitome of what marriage is. I've seen so much give and take from the two of you. I know my daughter is definitely not a football fan. She was when she was little, but that was just to get daddy's attention. But now she's a Packers fan. Thank God it's an NFC team. Chuck is, I've seen him do things that I know there's no guy on the planet would want to do, but he doesn't, and he smiles, he's great. So I could not be happier for the two of them. Not only did I lose my daughter, but I guess I gained a son, that's what somebody told me, so I'm gonna go with it. Please enjoy the evening, be safe, and manja. Brittany, getting to know you and becoming your best friend has been the most fun and exciting experience I could have ever asked for. I can't stop laughing when you're around, and everything in my life is more fulfilling because of you. You're the most amazing woman I've ever met, and I just wanted to tell you I can't help but smile whenever you're around. You generally make me the happiest I've ever been in my entire life. I remember the first time I met you, <laughs> just like yesterday. <laughs> Grady invited me to go fishing right after leaving work <laughs> to celebrate some random girl's birthday who I'd never met before. There were supposed to be eight people going on the boat that day, and it wound up just being the four of us. Looking back, choosing to skip sleep between shifts <laughs> and going fishing was the best dumb decision I've ever made in my entire life, and just goes to show that God had a plan for us all along. Never in a million years did I think going out on the boat that day, I'd meet my future wife. But from the moment I met you, I could tell you were incredibly special and somebody that I couldn't get enough of. Your determination to be part of something bigger is inspiring and one of the things I love most about you. You have shown me to expect more from myself and that we can accomplish whatever we want together. I can't see my life in the future without you now. and it's, I know that's because we realize as long as we have each other, nothing else matters. Chuck, it has been 604 days since you asked me to be your wife, and it was 1,041 days since I knew. I may have not admitted my true feelings for you until months after, but I knew I loved you the first time that we sang karaoke in the car on the way home from St. Augustine, and who would have ever known that it would be the same song that I just walked down the aisle to today. From the moment I met you, you made me feel alive. And in the process of writing my vows, I found myself recollecting our best memories over countless pages. And that was only from the first couple months of us dating. You've made me laugh until tears ran down my face more times than I can count. And have consistently believed in me and supported me from the moment that we first connected. You know, I always dreamt of a fairy tale romance, the one where Prince Charming saved the princess in distress. But you gave me the strength to save myself, and for that I can never fully express my gratitude. I truly have found the other half to my whole, and you are my strength when I am weak, and for I, what I lack you are abundantly filled with. I never knew that a person could feel like home until you helped me in your arms, and for that I thank you. Chuck and Brittany, you've made vows and promises to one another today. Through your actions today, your family has begun. And it is my honor today to pronounce you husband and wife. Chuck, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs>
It's my honor today to show you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Cooper. <laughs> 